One, go. Hello, James with Love My Pups. Today we are gonna do a video on how you find families who want your puppies. Um, so, well, the first thing is, I don't want you to have to just look at my ugly face like most of my videos. I thought, you know, it'd be a lot more fun if we actually show a puppy or puppies as part of the videos. So, you know, in, in an unashamed, um, uh, plug for what we do. This is actually um, a little girl. This is Paris, isn't it? Nope. This is this is Rome. Rome is uh, Rome is for, for, for offered up for adoption. So you can go to our website, www.lovemypups.com. L o v e m y p u p s dot com. Lovemypups.com. And by the way, all of my puppies all come from our stud dogs. And so that's something else that you can go look at. If you have a Frenchie and you're interested in finding a mate for your Frenchie then we have uh, a lot of studs that are all proven, all available for stud service. So this guy here is a product of uh, uh, Azure and uh, Gianni. Uh, this is a blue that carries chocolate with full tan points. Carries a copy, um, it's blue carries chocolate in the kit. This, actually, this guy carries a copy of cream too, no brindle. Anyway, so let's get back to how do you find somebody who might want this beautiful little doggy? Well, the answer is lots and lots of pictures to get a few that you're actually going to use. It's difficult to take pictures of dogs because they're always running around, they've got their mouths open, their tongues out. They never, the picture that you take is never the picture that you want to show. So you'll have to take lots of pictures to get those really good pictures that you want to show off your doggies. In contrast, taking a video as we're doing now is a superb way of showing off your dogs. Um, so we've got some puppies down here. We're just going to let these guys run around for a second, and we'll just uh, we'll just see if they'll follow us around. And there's one. Okay. Let's just move this up. Wait. So this is the kind of setting that I like. Look, these guys they are home raised puppies, and I think it's important that you show that they are not in cages. They're not brought up in kennels. They are fun loving little little puppies and I think that a video shows this you can talk through the whole video you can see the puppies moving through the whole video and it is free to put these things on YouTube you can take videos put them on YouTube you then have a link that you can send your customers they don't have to download a huge video you don't have to spend much time getting it done um, and YouTube is also a great place for people to actually see your puppies so when you do a YouTube video put your link in there Put your name in there, put your address in there, talk about your puppies as they're running around, talk about the parents, talk about the environment, do a scan around this whole place here, just do a 360 on this, on, on this. So you can see here that we have just a beautiful setting and our puppies are part of our family. We care about where our puppies go and hopefully you do too and that you should, and see there's some even some horses down there, that you should talk about the fact that you love animals and that you like raising puppies in a family environment. These are all things that help people know who you are and what you do. Now, if you're raising dogs in a kennel and they're in cages, hey, that's a whole different deal. We don't do that. Um, I, I never show my, my puppies in cages because the only time they ever go in, it, it, we've got a playpen scan around over this way for a second here. There's a playpen out here. And so the only time these guys are in a cage is when they're in a playpen. We set this thing up and they get some sun outside while we're doing other things. And I can make sure they're not, they're in a safe environment. That's the only time. So don't, I recommend that you don't take pictures of puppies that are in cages. If you're, if you're a kennel operation, then I'm probably not talking to you. I'm talking to more my customers and people who basically have puppies in their home. All right, so how should you register? How should you sell these puppies? Well, you have to decide who is your target audience. Um, are you selling your puppies to people who are gonna have these as pets in their home? Or are some of these puppies gonna to go to people who are gonna have puppies themselves? If that's the case, you can control this process through AKC registration. So all of my dogs were AKC registered, uh, the, the parents are AKC registered, the puppies get AC, AKC registration. And I have the ability to fill a box out on the AKC registration that decides whether they are limited registration, which means that you cannot get registration for puppies that they might produce, or whether they have full rights. It doesn't mean that you can stop somebody from breeding your dogs. They can, you can just control whether they get AKC registration. Write this in the contract, decide what you're doing. You may price it differently 
if they're going to be AKC full rights versus limited rights. That's for you to decide. Write a contract up. Explain exactly what happens in the contract. It doesn't have to be just these ridiculously long contracts. They want to know everything about you. It's kind of ridiculous. You just want to spell out what the dog is, what its registration is, whether or not it has full or limited rights. And then the important thing about a contract is what happens if there's a problem. So the contract should never be used. Everything should go really smoothly. But if it is, and there's an issue, you want to spell it out in the contract. Who is going to do what in the event that something is not right? Okay, very important. Uh, shouldn't hardly ever need it, but if you do need it, that's what contracts are about. So how do we how do we go about selling puppies? Where do we put them up so people can see them? Well, Craigslist is a great source. It's free. It's local. It's probably people within 150 miles. I don't use Craigslist myself, but a lot of people do successfully. Social media. There's free stuff on Facebook. There's Facebooks of Oklahoma, uh, Frenchies of Oklahoma, Frenchies of, of Texas. Um, there's lots of Facebook groups that basically you can join and show your puppies and it's free. There are websites like Puppy Find. We use Puppy Find, it's $20 a month. There are tons of dogs on Puppy Find. It's hard to get your puppy to stand out in the crowd, but Puppy Find, not bad. Have a website. Uh, you can direct people to your website and you have complete control over all of the videos and pictures that you show. So I really like a website. To do a website requires that you have a website address that's going to cost you, like GoDaddy offers it for I think like $10 a year. You're going to have to have somebody host your website, that's going to cost you, you know, $10 to $30 a month. Then somebody's going to have to build your website. We use WordPress, um, it's a great product. Uh, if you use it commercially like we do, I think it's something you order $10 a month. If you use it just as a kind of a hobby thing, it's going to be free. But WordPress, you can have to learn about it. It's one of the harder parts about the whole process. But I highly recommend a website if you can do much of this. Okay, so next thing is scams. People who are buying dogs from you are worried that you're going to scam them. And, and people get scammed on a regular basis. They're worried that you are going to sell them a puppy that doesn't physically exist. How do you avoid this? How do you make your customers happy and comfortable? The answer is Facebook. FaceTime, excuse me. If you've got a customer who's interested and they're worried about do you exist, say, hey, let's FaceTime these puppies. You can't cheat on FaceTime. So I highly recommend that you offer that to your customers. You have the ability to FaceTime so people can see that these puppies really do exist. Um, at the same time, you need to be careful. Look, people, you put things on Craigslist, um, somebody shows up, they stick a gun in your face and steal your puppies. These things really do happen. So how do you protect yourself on Craigslist? I recommend that you, you meet these people at a place that is safe, the police station. That's a great place. Say, hey, I'll meet you at the police station and we'll, we'll start from there and I'll bring the puppies with me. Somebody who's gonna scam you is probably just not even gonna show up. So I highly recommend that if you're gonna meet somebody, you meet somebody in a place where it's not just you and you feel safe and they can feel safe. Um, uh, one of the things that will happen is, is that people will say they're going to meet you and they never show up. So be prepared. Don't go travel 150 miles to meet somebody with a puppy for them never to show up. If you're going to do that, I always require a deposit before I even get to that point. They either need to come meet me, feel comfortable with what they're getting, put a deposit down, or um, I, I'm not going to drive you know, an hour away to meet them because I'm worried that they're not even going to show up. Okay. So, what else do we need to cover here? I think I've covered most of the bases. Um, so, let me, take, uh, let me take these puppies here real quick and we're just gonna do an unabashed trying to sell a puppy here. So we'll show you how we did this. So this here, this is, uh, this is London. There's a litter of three. So this is a lilac, excuse me, this is a blue that carries chocolate with full tan points. Because it's a pied, you don't see the tan points as well as you would with the other dogs. But you can see he's got these markings on his face and a, and a little bit above his eyes. And because he's pied, it doesn't show up in his forelegs, but his butt has got kind of a little bit of a brownie tinge to it. Okay, he doesn't like that. All right, so that, that is London. He is eight weeks old. Um, he can leave here in two weeks. He is coming, to, he's gonna get his uh, next shot in a week and he's gonna get wormed again today. Okay, let's have these other two guys. So this is... Paris. This is Paris. Paris is a little girl. Paris is spoken for, and you can see her tan points really show up because she's not a pied. 
And then there's one more on the litter, which is Rome. And Rome's another little boy. Looks like his sister, his other sister. So there they are. And uh, if you want to see more information, pictures, then go to www.lovemypups.com. L-O-V-E-M-Y-P-U-P-S.com. You can call me, 580-799-2873. That's James. Or you can call my wife, Tammy, 580-799-1910. Now we can let these guys roam free. It's London. Oh, sorry, London. And Paris. Oh. So, again, YouTube videos, the best thing you can possibly do. If you're not doing YouTube videos, you should be. Because you'll see puppies running around, you can talk through the whole process, you can explain what your, what your whole passion is for, for the breed, what you do, how long you've been doing it for. YouTube videos, wonderful. Best of luck, if we can help you in any way, then give us a holler. Bye-bye. Good. Um.